Hello, this is Aaron Sloman. I'm a philosopher in the School of Computer Science at the University of Birmingham. And I want to give a demonstration that's relevant to problems in philosophy and psychology. This will be a demonstration of a way of seeing without noticing what you're seeing. So let me first get this image out of the way. And um, I will now show you a display which consists of a rectangle containing a sentence that you will probably find familiar. I want you to look at the sentence and see if you see anything wrong with it. There's the display. There's a sentence in there. Please look at it carefully. Many people looking at that will instantly see something wrong with it. Others will not see anything wrong with it. If you see something wrong, the rest of this experiment will be irrelevant to you, though you can go on watching just to see what it's about. If you've seen nothing wrong, I'm going to now hide the display, hide the sentence, and then ask you some questions about it. You still can't see anything wrong? Okay. Now, think about what you saw. Here's a question. If you didn't see anything wrong, then where was the word will? Where was the word will? If you saw a familiar phrase with nothing wrong, you will have seen the word will. Where did you see it? Does that question make you notice something that you didn't notice before? If so, the experiment has worked for you. If you haven't noticed anything new as a result of that question, I'm going to ask a different question. How many words were in the display? How many words were in the display? Are you sure you know how many words are in the display? Do you now see anything wrong with the display you saw previously? You may or may not now notice that there was something wrong that you didn't notice previously. If you don't see anything wrong now and you didn't see anything previously, then the experiment hasn't worked for you. It doesn't work for everybody. I'm going to go back to the original display. You should now see something wrong either if I ask you where's the word will or if I ask you how many words are in the display that will draw your attention to the duplication which you may or may not have seen previously. Many people recognize this because it's an example of a familiar type of illusion. Some people don't recognize it and don't see anything wrong. Some people don't recognize it and still see something wrong. But if you're one of the people who did not see anything wrong and then noticed something afterwards when this d display was out of sight and asked you questions, I'd be interested to hear from you. In fact, if anyone has any observations on this, please feel free to email me at this address a.sloman at cs.bham.ac.uk a.sloman at cs.bham.ac.uk You will also find my address uh, by Google. My name is Aaron Sloman in Birmingham, UK.